So let's make a simple violet cane. As you can see, I'm using again a my cutter to measure. So I'm taking one part of um, Wisteria Primo and one part of white. And I will make a Skinner blend with them. And this time I will show you the Skinner blend in the most traditional way. Just cut a diagonal on each of the squares and then stack the two triangles one on top of the others and then join them together you join them perfectly at the corners because you do not want any pure color i will place a link to uh, my uh, skinner blend tutorial then once i uh, do the skinner blend i will uh, cut it and stack it and then roll it again through the pasta machine this time in length and then I will fan fold it. Once it is fan folded, um, I will simply uh, bring it and form it into a log or a plug. Remember, a plug is usually uh, thicker than a log. A plug pretty much looks like a cork, a bottle cork. A log is a little bit thinner than that. Then once I did my plug, I will take some Violet Primo and run it through the pasta machine on the thinnest setting. And then I will cut uh, a strip about half uh, the width of the logs of the plug's diameter. And then I will make pretty much four cuts, five cuts let's say um, and place a strip between the slices I have cut towards the um, uh, center where the darker part of the Skinner blend is because you see I kind of cut the slices a little bit radial like so just place a little bit of that uh, thinner setting uh, violet sheet on that side where the Skinner blend is darker and then just put the slices back together to reform the plug. After which all you need to do is to reduce it. But um, let's put it aside for a little bit and let's make a flower center that we will use for this. And not only for this, we will make a bit more of it so we will have enough for a future basic flower canes tutorials. And for this, I am taking some um, cadmium yellow and some white. And I'm mixing them together and forming a log. Then I have over there, I have again some uh, Wisteria Primo and some Violet Primo. And once I am forming my log using an acrylic block to be cylindrical, and you can take as a, um, a piece of reference the plug you have for the petals of the violet, even if the middle will be way uh, thinner than this. Then wrap, do a, a double uh, bullseye cane, wrapping first in the wisteria and then in the violet. And remember, always use your uh, line to know where to cut. After which, all you have to do is to reduce that until you can cut it in segments and it is pretty much up to you I would suggest to use at least seven segments so you can make a flower like exactly like in the basic symbol flower uh, cane tutorial but uh, you can make it with more or less because it's going to be uh, reduced and uh, re um, cut and restacked so you see I have cut it in seven so I can do one of those very simple flower-like um, 
composite cane after which I will be reducing it again. Because you want to obtain something that will look like the stamens on the middle of a flower. So for that you need to make them very very small. So again I am cutting, I am reducing it until I can cut it into 7 pieces. And then I will be putting the pieces together, the same as before. And then you can decide if you want to reduce it even more or not. I think that's pretty much enough because when I will finish reducing it will be, uh, when I'll reduce it to size, it will be way thinner than this. Because remember the plug, we need to reduce it to form six petals out of it. So I am just uh, reducing it a little bit and then I will cut a piece out of it put the rest to the side for future tutorials and then I will cut a piece out of it that I will reduce to form for the violet. Now it's time to reduce the plug. Reduce the plug until you get it to uh, 7 inches, oh, sorry, to 6 inches. So you can cut 6 1 inch pieces or you can reduce it to 3 inches and you can cut a uh, six half an inch piece pieces out of it or whatever is easier for you to uh, cut six out of <laughs> but anyway you do need six pieces so as you see I am going for six inches six one inch pieces and I will uh, always trim the very end because it has a little bit of distortion. And once I have my six petals, because those will form the petals of the violet, I will reduce that piece I have uh, cut from the middle of flower cane I just made to be the same uh, diameter as the petals. After which I start arranging the petals around it with those little violet lines uh, towards the middle of the flower. Make sure that uh, they are arranged properly on both ends of the cane. I'm focusing my camera so you can see very well what I'm doing. So every time you place one of the petals, uh, turn the cane around so you can uh, check if you have a proper placement on the other end of the cane as well. And you have your violet. Now we need to uh, kind of fill those spaces between the petals and then uh, wrap it in translucent. So I already have some translucent on the thickest setting, already cut to size, and now I'm going to make a, um, a string out of translucent and place it between the petals. And then I will uh, reduce even more the string to an even, even thinner uh, thickness and then place one of those thinner strings on each side of the thicker string you've just placed between the petals. This is instead of making a triangular string to place between the petals, I always found that it's much easier to do it this way because you don't have to go pinching and having everything the same triangular size. Once you have that done, then all you have to do is to uh, wrap in the translucent on the thickest setting and then just uh, squeeze a little bit, of course, put together the ends and then squeeze a little bit starting from the middle towards the ends to make sure that you uh, eliminate any possible air pockets that might be trapped inside. And there you go, you have your violet flower cane. Happy clean!